I didn't want to play this game. With all the drama surrounding it, it's just a big reason why I didn't want to bring it to my channel. But DICE or EA decided to push the release date back because of all the backlash. And on top of that, they decided to make the game free to play for a little bit. So because I'm a longtime Battlefield fan, I thought, I guess I'll give it a shot. And well, free is free. <laughs> So we already know that the game's character models are inaccurate as fuck, but that aside, how is the game? Those of you that don't know what the Honest Opinion series is, it's basically me playing alphas or betas and telling you what I thought. Bear in mind that these games aren't finished, so don't take this as the final product, because things are bound to change. So a buddy of mine pinged me on Discord, telling me to download the game. And I was like, why? Why would I don't... is it free? And he's like, yeah, yeah, it's free. So... He's about to get into the game, but he can't play the game because the beta or whatever the hell this is doesn't start until the 6th. But because I have EA Access, I was able to play it first, so haha. -ha. I'm not really sure why I still have EA Access, but let's just talk about the game. So what did I think? I thought that the gameplay was pretty fine. If you like Battlefield 1's gameplay, then I'm sure you're going to like this game, which almost made me feel like it was a reskin. Granted that it feels a bit closer to Battlefield 4's gameplay than Battlefield 1, which was a plus for me because I was killing fools left and right, but a gigantic problem that I noticed right away, you start off with really low ammo. The caveat is that if you kill an enemy, they drop an ammo kit, which supplies you with only a mag or less. I can't say that I like this feature because it forced me to always stay on the move. I mean, I can only carry three mags and I have an STG, so this bitch goes fast. I felt like I was playing Call of Duty with me running around like a madman. The optimization was actually pretty good for an early Battlefield game. I mean, I would see a few glitches here and there, but nothing too game breaking, or at least not for me. The graphics look gorgeous but that's just to be expected with the frost engine. I'd actually expect nothing less. They pretty much have all the same classes as I remember it, but something that they added was like a recovery system or health system where the guy's laying on the ground and he's flinging his arms back and forth, basically saying, help, I've fallen and I can't get up. Anybody can pick him up, but medics do it faster. A bit of a criticism here, but if you could make it a little faster for the animation to come up as soon as he gets shot, because I counted about 11 seconds before that happens, and that could be the meaning between life and death when somebody's trying to revive you, especially someone that's not a medic. One new mechanic that they added to the game was a fortification system, I think that's what you call it. I'm not entirely sure as to how this works because I didn't try it out myself, but I would see people setting up a lot of sandbags. They were able to put down things like emplacements, like a, like an AA gun. I, I, I didn't see the extents as to how much you could actually do with that, but as far as I saw, it was only really sandbags that people were placing. Maybe some barbed wire and an AT? Seems like they took the concept from Postscriptum, but maybe that's just me. When it comes to customization, they didn't show it off too much in the beta here or whatever this is but if that is a thing in this game i really hope that i'm able to just completely customize my guy and make him look like he's actually from this era they also have a customization option for your weapon it allows you to add attachments and custom skins along with upgrading the weapon I think that part's a little odd. I'm not sure as to how that actually worked because the thing kept freaking failing every time that I tried to buy it, which is really weird. The amount of weapons kind of worries me because it seems like they're taking a step back from what Battlefield 4 had to offer. Battlefield 4 had a shit ton of weapons for us to unlock. Each class had about 20 weapons. Collectively, Battlefield 4 had about 80 weapons plus 16 secondaries, so 96 in total. Whereas in Battlefield 5, I can literally count them. The lack of content here reminds me of Battlefront 2, which is not good if EA wants to get this game back on its feet. Another thing that seemed to be missing in this game was Rush. Where the hell did that go? Did it get replaced with a Battle Royale? 
Oh, there's a Battle Royale. Fuck, that's stupid. This beta for me has just been kind of a mixed bag, if I'm being honest. Like, on one hand, I actually really liked the gameplay. I was actually pretty good at the game, but it's just everything else. Like, if you're gonna do another game, it has to be bigger than the previous one. And so far, it feels like Battlefield 4 is 10 times bigger than this game was. Like, the only noticeable difference is the amazing graphics but we already know what this looks like because of battlefield 1 maybe if battlefield 1 played like a world war 1 game using trench warfare maybe i would have liked battlefield 5 but like battlefield hardline it just couldn't stray away from the formula that's why it sort of feels like it's a copy and paste when i got into the game i thought that the maps were going to be bigger better and more destructible than previous games i thought that we were going to get way more tanks and airplanes to play around with but there's really only like one or two tanks on each side and only one or two planes in the sky all this coupled together with the ridiculous character models that they had it's just <sighs> even if this game had everything that i wanted i still would not buy it because ea has killed off some of my most favorite franchises they're also the ones that are behind the loot crates and microtransaction bullshit and on top of that they are rated as one of the worst companies with their shitty business practices it's heartbreaking you know because I'm a Battlefield fan. Just imagine them going back to the roots of 1942 using their frost engine, gigantic maps with more tanks and airplanes coming in and just uh, in a gigantic fight. <sighs> but it just feels more like a pipe dream. Well, I think I've said all I needed to say. I think I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and uh, I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.